This is the Church of Santa Maria in Vallecella in Rome, also known as Chiesa Nuova. It was founded by St. Philip Neri, who is remembered by the church every May 26. That day, hundreds of pilgrims flocked to the church to pray before the tomb of the saint, who propelled catechesis in the Eternal City. Within the complex are the original rooms of St. Philip Neri, authentic relics from his life. This year, however, they remain closed. The rooms are very important. They hold all the mementos of St. Philip Neri. Everyone comes to visit them very joyfully. Unfortunately, this year we had to close them because the hallways leading to the rooms are very narrow and we wanted to avoid crowding. Important mass celebrations were also canceled. Wearing face masks and using hand sanitizer are compulsory for those entering the church. Personal distances between pilgrims are also regulated. Another tradition to be cancelled was the annual lunch for the poor. We had to cancel the annual lunch we organized for the poor in our convent's courtyard of orange trees. Many poor people usually attend, and our community serves them. It's not only the priests, but lay people who participate in the oratory's community life. It's a big celebration. St. Philip Neri is also remembered for establishing the tour of the seven churches of Rome. He started alone, but thousands of people joined each year. I've been traveling the entire route of St. Philip Neri since the 90s. He completed the tour in two days, clearly starting here at his house. He would go to St. Peter's, St. Paul's and the other five churches. Some friends join me and we remember the significance of each place as we go. In the middle of the current crisis, many people have gone to pray before St. Philip Neri's tomb to ask for his intercession in facing life's problems. During his life, he drew close to people's problems, to life's hardships, bringing God's light to dramatic and difficult situations. In Rome, he's known as Pippo Bono, Pippo for Philip, Bono because he was very good. With the countless intentions pilgrims have brought to the saint, surely the end of the pandemic is among them.